Hey, 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 welcome back to the Hot Mess Express. So, let's take a look at this video here um, about Summer that was on News Nation. Uh, I think it was not before last. Let's see what they have to say. We're going to turn back to a missing case that is gaining attention around the nation. Five-year-old Summer Wells vanished from her rural Tennessee home in June, setting off an Amber Alert. Her family says she was gardening in the backyard with her mother and grandmother when she went inside the house and then just disappeared. Months of searching and still nothing. I'd like to bring in former FBI agent Jennifer Coffendoffer tonight. She's been following this case. So we have a former FBI agent here. Let's see what... Uh... Just they. That's the FBI. And all of the complexities. Uh, Jennifer, good to see you. What stands out to you about this? Because it just seems like there are no clues. She basically just vanished. Well, what stands out to me? No child just disappears, okay? We know that. Are the inconsistencies and the statements that have been made by the parents. They're extremely concerning. Uh, let's start just with number one, who was really there with her when she was and when she went missing. And I say this because I found probably a very little known recording of the dad when he says we were only 30 to 40 feet away when she disappeared. Yet, according to the 911 uh, operator, the mother had gone on a walk and returned and she had disappeared. And according to another report by the mother, she herself says that she was just checking on the grandmother on a brace uh, and she went back within, uh, she says, two to five minutes and the little girl was gone. And there's more inconsistencies and unusual. St so initially on the um, dispatch call, it was said that, you know, Candace had went for a walk. Well, we now know that's not true um then it was said that summer was helping grandis and candace plant flowers she went back in the house with the boys while candace was fixing grandis's knee brace then candace went back in and she was gone so let's continue eight months beyond that Mm -hmm. For well, instance, okay. returning. Go ahead. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Marty. Speaking of her in the past tense, mm. very early on, and also. We picked up on that right away. Right away, people picked up on that. Very early on, saying that they truly think she is dead. Right. Uh, and to hear from a parent when your child is missing um, it, it is troubling. The other thing, Jennifer, is Summer's father. Don said, we'll see in the resurrection. That automatically made me think that she was deceased and they would meet again in heaven, is what I took from that. Or said uh, that his three other sons were taken from their home for their own safety. And he said, quote, uh, right now it's not safe at my house. So help us read between those lines. Well, that family has been uh, accused and actually... Before we go on... We know that Don accused us on social media for the boys being removed. Um, I don't think that was the case. Um, as we know, it's been rumored they have failed some drug tests. And it's been rumored that CPS, DCF, whatever you call it, um, was already involved or getting involved before Summer went missing. So let's see what they say. There have been charges filed regarding domestic abuse by both the mother and the father historically. So this is nothing that is foreign to them in terms of neglect and other abuse issues within that family. So neglect and other abuse issues within that family. Drug abuse, alcohol abuse, criminal domestic violence. The charges are there. Um, very chaotic, right? So I don't think it's of any surprise. And I think he basically summed it up pretty succinctly. 
And real quick, Jennifer, I only have about 30 seconds, but what are the biggest challenges when a little girl like this seems to have just vanished into thin air and more and more time has passed for almost at five months? Well, there's only a couple scenarios really that exist in this case. One, she wandered off through a door, which again is inconsistent whether it was either opened or unopened, and drowned in a nearby water, pond or something. Karina said, nobody in, nobody out. Of that sort. And I have had a case just like that, where in this very similar situation that happened, mm -hmm. or that a family member or an acquaintance abducted or somehow harmed her, or number two, that she accidentally was harmed and they're covering it up. But wow. no matter, I believe it is not a stranger situation. It's somebody that knows her. It's not a stranger situation. It's somebody that knows her. Interesting. Most of the time it is, right? And sadly that she knew. Where is Summer Wells? Jennifer Koffendoffer, good to see you. Appreciate your insight as always. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage. All right, guys, leave your um, comments down below and uh, let me know what you uh, think. I'll see you in the next one.